What is up, ladies and gentlemen, it's video, and welcome to my final thoughts on Conception 2, and my final thoughts on the playthrough we did in general. We really should have done this a while ago, let's be real. But anyways... What do I think of Conception 2? And why did I even want to LP a game such as this? Honestly, Conception 2 is just fun. Yeah, as much as I may bits about not being able to run past enemies in the dungeon every now and again. The game's still just really fun. Whenever I play this game, to me, for whatever reason, I just get a Persona 4-like vibe. It kind of feels like I'm playing a Persona 4 game, but I'm not. No, I guess it's, I guess it's just that atmosphere that I liked about the game. Uh, to me, the game's just really fun. The characters are pretty interesting in more ways than one. But they are pretty interesting for the most part. They're definitely all unique, which is really nice. That's a nice little thing about the game. And also, it's been since, like, the end of November, I think, last year, since we beat the game, so obviously, I'm not going to really remember too much about it, unfortunately, and I really need a drink. Have some water here with me today instead of tea or coffee or whatever. Nice to mix it up every now and again, but at this point, I feel like I'm just gonna keep ranting all about the same things I've already just talked about about the game. There's really not much to say, I don't remember much of it. But for the most part though, the story for the game's pretty good. For the most part. You definitely wouldn't... Think... At first... Like who... Or what the final boss would be until you get to a certain point in the game and then you start to think yeah maybe this might be the final boss this person or this thing honestly when I first played the game for the first time I honestly thought the final boss might have been the Ether God, but I was completely wrong. It was, it was well. I definitely wasn't expecting the final boss to be who the final boss was. I definitely wasn't. But like, until you get to a certain point, that's when you start to question. Things overall, the final boss was interesting for the game. It could have been less predictable, I think, but it is what it is. Anyway, what are my thoughts on the playthrough that we did? All 
honestly, here are the episodes that I would have liked to have redone entirely, or I'm just not completely satisfied with. So here are the episode numbers. Episode 1 through 8. Episodes 10 through 15. Along with episodes 24 and I think 38. Hang on, I'm actually going to go check. Because there's no way I'm going to remember it. I don't know, is that's like all the episodes I'm not really satisfied with, to be honest. Some of them I think I really should have redone, but I certainly didn't. Oh god, this is taking forever to load. I'm right now loading the playlist. Probably should have had this up before. Stalling, but whatever. Like, oh, those episodes were just... Oh, they definitely could have been better. And I'll explain why in a little bit. And that was episode 38, right? Oh, wow, I was actually close. It's not 30, it's 37 that I'm not satisfied with. That episode would be O oh, Sylvia O oh, Tom. So I don't I like that episode. Honestly, I think it's just the fact that I tried to do voice acting a little bit. I feel like I came off more as pissed, then slightly irritated, slash protective. <laughs> In my opinion, I think that's pretty much why I'm not satisfied with that episode. As for episode 24, I was, I was just lazy as fuck when it came to that episode. I think I did like no editing on that episode at all. Plus I feel like the commentary was just god awful. <laughs> I really should have done that one but I didn't. As for episodes 1 through 8 and episodes 10 through 15 Honestly, once I started up, once episode 16 came around, that's when I made up the little rule for myself to try not to talk or voice or read the Carol's voice what the characters are saying before and after class meeting because <laughs> honestly I feel like I just dug my own grave to be honest with just how much I embarrassed myself I think so, if, so the episodes before episode 16 were just bad in my opinion, for that reason. So, why is episode 9 the only one I seem to like? Before I get into that, I mean, I actually really need a fucking drink again. <laughs> this is ridiculous, my mouth is dry as hell. But at any rate, here are the episodes that I am satisfied with. 
And surprisingly, I actually like am satisfied with more episodes than I thought I would be when I first started up the playthrough. But anyway, here are the episodes I'm satisfied and or like. Episode 9. Episode 16. All the way through 23, then 25, through 36, and then 38, all the way to episode 62, the finale. So why do I like episode 9? Even though it's like the only episode out of the first 15 that I actually like. Also, I think it was just because it was fun. I remember just having a blast making that episode. I still remember when I post set that episode, the time of day at least. Ended up posting the episode around 11.30 p.m. at night. Why I still remember that, I have no idea. But it was pretty fun trying to come up with a episode title for that episode. Well, how, what, how did it go again? Ghosts and Bugs and Ghost Bugs. For whatever reason, I really like that title. For whatever reason. And honestly, most of the episodes past episode 16, I start to like simply because it was a hell of a lot less embarrassing for me to play through the game when it came to the class meeting moments. When I made up that little rule to try not to talk during those parts of the game, that definitely lifted a weight off my shoulders. It was still embarrassing, but not to the degree that the first 15 episodes did. <laughs> uh, so, at the very least, I feel like me making that little rule for myself was probably the best decision I could have made, to be honest. And honestly, as for why I OP the game, one reason why I want to OP the game, other than the fact that I really like the game, is honestly, I thought it would build up some cards by me helping a game like Conception 2, it would give me a bit more cards. And also I feel like it did. If I LP'd Conception 2, I honestly think I can probably LP the other game I have in mind. <laughs> oh god. That'll be one hell of a playthrough. If I ever get around to it. Or I'm capable of actually doing it. But anyway. I honestly thought helping peeing the game would just be a way to build cards and to so off of pretty fun good game 
that you may or may not have heard of. Did I feel like I had seen all of that? Maybe. Who knows? Will I regret LPing this game? Honestly, who knows? Only time will tell, I guess. All I know is no one has really commented on why I decided to do LP such a and where the game so so far there hasn't really been any backlash which is good but again you can't be afraid to express the fact that you like something or are really passionate about something you really have to try and be you, you just have to be the best you you can be. Even if that can be quite embarrassing sometimes. Oh no, I do not regret helping the game. I absolutely do not. Yeah, I probably dug my grave more than once in the playthrough. But, for the most part, it was just a fucking blast. It was definitely the most fun I had LPing a game to date. So far. I just had a fucking blast playing through that game. I wish it would have went on forever, but nothing lasts forever. Everything has to end eventually. Of all the... Those are pretty much just the episodes I'm satisfied with and I'm not satisfied with. For most part, there's not really too much to say, but since we're here talking about Conception 2, I may as well do a little Kelda discussion on Enzea. Honestly, what are, what's my opinion on Enzea as a Kelda? Same can be said for Roos and Clow. They just don't really play too much of a role. Which is sad. I wish you like saw them more throughout the game. Like maybe after you read every chapter you could talk to them at the school area once per chapter and have a little scene with them with all three of them would have been nice but that's just not the case yeah you could have talked to Enzea here and there but not Roos and Clow because to be honest I actually really do like Roos and Clow really cool candles just like no kill the development whatsoever at all. You just don't know much about them, which is sad. And honestly, not gonna lie, spoiler alerts for Persona 4 here. When I first played through Conception 2 for the first time, And when Enzea revealed his, like, goal and, like, wanting to turn the world into monsters, all I could think of was Adachi wanting to turn the world 
into silence. Like, oh my god, the resemblance between their oval and goal was just too fucking similar. It was amazing. Still wish it was different though. I can't complain about something that makes me think about Adachi or Persona 4 in general. So just, there's something. There's definitely something. Adachi wants to turn the world into monsters. Which to be honest, the monsters in this game Look more like Sanos, if anything. Anyway, I guess that's pretty much it. I could go over why I like Serena as a killer. Honestly, not really too much to say. Serena's just the best killed on the game in my opinion. Not really too much to say though to be honest. But anyways I guess that's pretty much it. Unless we wanna keep hearing me rants on for like another twenty minutes. So let's call it here. At least we finally did this bonus video for Conception 2, at least. So I guess with that said, that's the end of Conception 2 content. Who knows, maybe they might just make a Conception 2 anime. Uh, that will be interesting if they do. Conception 1 is getting an anime. Surprisingly. At any rate... Till next video... Stay golden? This probably might go up on... The Let's Play channel only. Maybe the main channel, who knows. At any rate, till next time, stay golden.